Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We're playing a Gargoyle Wanderer of Lugonu, and we're done with Shoals 1. Uh, you see this warning here saying, about to enter Wiz Mode, are you sure you want to? I just accidentally hit the key for entering Wiz Mode, and I said no, so we're not in Wiz Mode, of course. Uh, that would be cheating, and we would not get a score, and the game would be over uh, as far as the scoring goes. Entering Wiz Mode is scored the same as quitting, um, which, is, uh, which is obviously not what we want to do. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about my piety here. Uh, we don't even have corrupt right now. Uh, I was remarking to someone in between episodes that I, I wonder if I have uh, overcorrected a bit from the sort of new player classic mistake of like... Uh, never wanting to spend piety. And I wonder if I've overcorrected a bit towards like, oh, I'll spend piety whenever I feel like it. Piety is easy to come by, right? And like, it leaves me being at like, I, I'm i in Shoals too, and I've never once hit six pips of piety with Lugonu. And in fact, now I'm only at three, you know, which argues for me, maybe not exactly managing piety in the best way. Uh, but on the other hand, like, I'm alive. It's, it's pretty good. Oh my god, Polyphemus, are you kidding me? Get out of here. I'm, you know, you know, like, here I am talking about how, like, uh, maybe, maybe I'm overusing piety, and what do I do? I go banish Polyphemus, but I still think it was the right thing to do. Uh, before he can throw anything really nasty at us. So the question is... Do I try to fight these guys, or do I try to run away? If not for the barbs, it would be an easy choice. I just run away. Um, but I'm not sure how much damage we're going to take from barbs, actually. Ugh, my defenses are just not very good, is the problem. Like, if you're going to have evasion as low as 10, you need better armor than 34. And you need more HP. I don't know, the character just feels a bit, like, not great. Is why, like, a manticore hitting me once is causing me this kind of trouble. Or, I don't know, maybe it was, a uh, Maybe Polyphemus hit me with a rock as well, I'm not sure. No. Uh, I'm gonna try walking towards the stairs and see how much damage we take. Three, it's fine. Okay, that was... 10. But I guess we did get hit again by more barbs. Yeah, we're still not taking too much damage from this. I think it's safer to get to the stairs. Thank you for blocking line of sight, uh, Mr. Catablepus there. Alright, there we go. Oh good, and it's petrifying the manticore as well. What? Oh, the Death Yak got petrified. He wanted to follow me up, but he couldn't. All right, let's just grab a new staircase, I guess. That one's a bit rowdy. Okay, just stay by the staircase for everything. We are in a dangerous place. And if we if we lose one more Pippa Piety, we won't even be able to banish monsters, which is not a good position to be in. It would be a good way, of course, to stop me from wasting all my piety on Banish, but uh, the cure in that case, I think, is worse than the disease. Uh, the stairs... I, why do I keep thinking the stairs are there when they're clearly here? Alright, let's come upstairs and then uh, blink away, which doesn't cost any piety. Just because, like, that's not a good place to fight. Um... Mm, there's a good spot up here, I guess. What about anything else? There's nothing else very good. I think I'll try to get up there. The Death Yaks will have trouble following me through all the water, and the turtle will have trouble following me through all the land. So, I think that's fine. 
Yeah, they did not really get to catch me. Oh, I forgot the turtle has a has a ranged attack. Evil. So I'm actually fighting both of them at once here. But okay, having taken care of the death yak, the turtle's no problem. Here we go. Back downstairs. One death yak, no big deal at this point in the game. How uh how's our invisibility looking? 65. Uh, I should have remembered to consider using invisibility against those monsters. Like, because it just trivializes, like that Manticore, for example. Um, and the, the Death Yaks and the Turtle would have been easier with invisibility, too. Uh, and I just didn't even think to use it. Which is like, if we're not going to use it, I shouldn't be training in the evocations. But uh, I think the right answer is to train evocations and actually use it. These guys can't see invisible, right? They've only got one dang eye. Yeah, that's pretty good. Maybe we can give Lugonu's abilities a bit of a rest. And, uh, ooh. Sure? Antenny 2, okay. Antenny 1 is pretty bad, but 2 and 3, like, maybe could be okay. I don't think we're likely to get Antenny 3, but, you know, something to consider. Uh, and Antenny 2 might start being good. Dream Sheep. I didn't know these showed up in Shoals as well. I guess I should have, but I didn't. I'm glad Dream Sheep bleat. I guess Sheep also bleat. They used to bellow, and then, I don't remember, it was probably a few months ago that that changed to bleat. It was definitely an improvement. All right, we're back up to four pips, which is great news. Uh, still don't want to, like, corrupt or banish for no reason, but it's nice to know that if we need to, we can. Like this Merfolk Aquamancer, I would love to banish him. And his MR is low enough that we might succeed in doing so. Not necessarily, but perhaps. Um, and actually, do we, we, do we even need to? Like, what does he do that's such a big deal? Not much. Yeah, I think we could just tab him, it would be fine. The main thing, I guess, is he sees invisible, so we can't cheese him. Uh, where did he go? I don't know. Good riddance, that's what I say. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Evolution. Wow, what a weird path for Auto Explorer to have drawn out. Why would it do this? What a weird path. Normally it goes in diagonals, right? That's so strange. It must... <laughs> I don't understand the... Like, obviously, it doesn't make a big difference. It doesn't matter. But this just isn't what I'm used to Auto Explorer doing, and I'm trying to think why. Is it to do with the water? Or the fact that the level... Is... I think it's more to do with the fact that the level border is perfectly rectangular. But then, like, why did we leave this area unexplored? It just is strange. And why, like, why come up for this part and then be like, no, never mind, let's go back down? Just weird. And why not go diagonally if you were going to... I guess... Like, not because we need to see this, right? Because we've already seen this square. So like moving diagonally from here would from the top from this this corner right here uh, would be clearly better than moving vertically and then horizontally. I don't know. I don't, I thought I kind of understood the auto explorer algorithm a little bit, uh, but what it's doing now just I have no idea why it would do that. Man, 
No good armor this game, huh? If you could petrify the snapping turtle, that would be great. Thanks. Ooh, yikes. That griffin put up a fight. There's nothing else we want to buy, right? Yeah, not really. That stuff's all not very good. Our jewelry is better than that. And I'll, I'll just go invisible. Why not? Or at least try to. All right, he got he got into range before we had a chance, so that's fine. A kraken! Oh man, get banished! Uh oh, wait. What's the deal with tentacles? Can I banish a tentacle? No, they block. That's six strats, Mr. Kraken. All right, get him. Get him. Didn't work. Blink. Banish the Kraken. Got him. <laughs> oh, it's so fun banishing monsters. I think that was like, I don't know. Maybe we could have just walked away. This is part of the danger of like auto exploring over deep water is that you run into Krakens that other, other characters wouldn't have. But, you know, we got half the experience of a Kraken in exchange for, like, two or three banish attempts. I think that's fine. We certainly don't want to fight him. Uh, just like, I don't know, he can... With Constriction, they can do quite a bit of damage. He does the invisible, right? Yeah. And I'm just going to duck around to here. So he doesn't get as much of a jump on us. Ooh, wow. He got two turns in a row there. That's not very nice. Yeah, no problem. Merfolk Aquamancers are not what we need to be afraid of in here. 58% on invisibility. A Water Nymph. Okay, so these I'm a little bit worried about just because of Water Strike. And they have a ton of them are, right? Yeah. Let's just walk away, see if she follows. Ah, she found me. Water Strike did zero damage though, so that's something good, I guess. <laughs> Apparently we have enough armor to not worry about water nymphs. Good good to know. I wasn't sure. All right, Shoals 2, not too bad. We did have to banish a couple guys, but it was fine. Uh, this guy can do quite a bit of damage. Oh, so let's be invisible. There we go. And suddenly, he's like completely at a disadvantage. He has you know big accuracy penalties, and we get big accuracy bonuses. It's just real nice. Uh, that wand down there is going to be a wand of heal wounds. <laughs> Unlucky. Thought maybe I could make it happen. Oh well. I would have also accepted wand of hasting. Wand of enslavement is not that good. But uh, if we can... If we can handle aquamancers with no trouble, and we can go invisible then like nothing is going to be any real problem here, right? Because those are sort of the two main threats, Aquamancers and like not Aquamancers. <laughs> and uh, Aquamancers are the only ones who can see invisible that I can think of anyway. Um, and going invisible is enough against most of the other monsters here. Especially if you get to jump on them like this. Uh, You know, the Water Nymph also sees Invisible, but we prove that she's no problem. Right, let's attack the Impaler first. I want to get him killed as soon as possible. Nice. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about Shoals now, actually. Uh, I don't remember if we... 
I guess we picked up the cloak before we entered Trolls? Maybe not. I remember we like left in the middle of a lair branch to go buy the cloak of invisibility. And I don't remember if it was this lair branch or some other one. Or well, it should obviously be spider. Um but I don't know. Either way, having having the invisibility usable, if not reliably, at least regularly, um, makes me feel pretty good about Shoals, having tried it a bit. I Sometimes I forget how good invisibility is in here, and so I didn't really think, really, again? All right, get out of here. Did not succeed. Got him. Uh, and of course, you know, I don't I don't love spending the piety there. I just remembered You guys saw that when the the um the siren mesmerized us, all the squares we weren't allowed to walk to turned gray, right? That's normal intended behavior. It's fine. But it reminded me of like when you switch to targeting mode like this and then press X and move whoops isn't it X that did it yeah now everything turns gray I don't understand why so that's that's some sort of bug in in the uh, the layers layer viewing system. I don't know exactly what the deal is, but it would be nice to get that sorted out. I've got like a long to-do list of things that I think it would be nice to fix, but I kind of would rather play Crawl right now, so that's why I'm not doing anything about them, you know. Ugh, I don't like either of these guys, really. Uh... But I also don't want to like banish them because I feel like we should be okay without banishing. You know what? These guys are not fast; they're normal speed. Let's just walk away. Get um. I should have checked out what was at the store while I was passing through. Get to a safe space where uh, it looks like the Manticore is following me, which is fine. The Fawn may have followed, but he's much much slower because we went across a bunch of water. Who was up here? A merfolk. Um, and so this this separated the two monsters, and we were able to take them, well, take out the manticore anyway, without um, having to use any consumables or piety or whatever. And now we can hunt down the satyr at our leisure. Leisure. Both correct ways to pronounce the word, I believe. I think leisure is more of a British thing. Mask of the Dragon is a hat or a helmet? I guess it's not grayed out, which means we can wear it, right? Honestly, no, I don't think we want that ring mail. Even if it was quite good, I don't think we'd want it. The Mask of the Dragon, though, is great. I'll take it over a crummy old helmet. Oh, which we can't even wear, right? We're not even wearing a helmet now. All right, let's try on these gloves. Cap uh, plus one, cursed minus two. All right, well, uh, let's drop the awful gloves then. And let's drop the plus one cloak of nothing as well. I'm going to grab this Mark of the Dragon right now, and it may at some point later in the game become unwearable because we'll mutate more. Hope not, though. It's pretty nice. Did I say Mark of the Dragon? It's a Mask of the Dragon. A Saga of Spiders. Sure, I guess? I don't know. It's like... Not that great at zero evo. In fact, it's pretty terrible at zero evo. But, um, I don't know, it'd be nice to be, to have handy, I guess. 
All right, that's Shoals 3. I think uh, it's not yet time to end the episode, right? Uh, no. But we, we could end it. If like if, if, if I had just finished Shoals 4, I'd be like, yeah, this episode is long enough. We can end it. But uh, it's not been so long that I feel like I need to end the episode. Uh, so we... Mm, this is the icy one? Or gardens or something? It's real nice, actually, knowing how many monsters are behind that wall. Whoa, don't push me off the stairs, buddy. Well, that was a lot of damage, actually. Yikes, impalers. Oh my gosh, that's a bad, bad staircase. Let's go find another one, huh? Yikes! And dream sheep as well. Mm. I'm gonna try to pass a turn here and see if I can drag the dream sheep upstairs. Now, most of the stuff down here does not see invisible. All of it, in fact? I thought there was an Aquamancer somewhere. Hello? Buttons. I'm pressing buttons. Here we go. I guess not. All right. I just imagined him. So let's just go invisible while we're upstairs. Come downstairs and, hey, there is an Aquamancer. Um... Let's take the Aquamancer upstairs, and then, oh. I was going to say, and then having, uh, and then we'll rest off and we'll go back down with a fresh invisibility, but honestly, like, our invis is not even expiring. We killed everything so quickly up here. So I'm just going to go uh, downstairs. Oh, downstairs. Oh, I pushed the wrong button is what happened. All right, there's an Impaler, a Sea Snake, and a Cyclops. Let's go upstairs, see what follows us. Uh-oh. What? Who did that? The Merfolk Aquamancer knocked me off the stairs again. All right, now he can't. Uh... So while I'm invisible, this is a perfectly manageable number of monsters here. But if I lose my invisibility, I'm going to be kind of sad. And I will be, because it's expiring. It, it's going to be gone in like one or two turns, probably. So I could teleport. I could blink. I could banish. I have a lot of options. I could try to just tab, but I don't think that's a good idea. So it's just a question of, like, what is the smallest expenditure I can make that will get me out of danger. Blink is going to save me mostly just from the Cyclops, right? Like, the, the Merfolk and the Sea Snake are going to be able to follow me, especially if I end up in the water. Um... Honestly, I've used so few teleports this game that I'm thinking about doing that. Uh, but I'm not really in so much danger yet that I need to teleport. Maybe I just try for a kill on, like, the Aquamancer or some Not the Aquamancer, the Impaler. See how that goes. And then if it goes badly, I can blink and teleport or whatever. Yeah. See, we got several attacks on him before we became visible. And now I feel okay about blinking to get away specifically from the Cyclops. Let the Sea Snake catch up with me. That's fine. I'll tab him, and then later I'll go back and deal with the Cyclops. All right, there we go. So we dealt with those monsters without actually spending anything. Uh, I mean, we spent some HP, of course, but that is renewable. Unless you get back down to zero, then it's 
That's a pretty bad amount of HP to have. Oh, we can pillar dance for days, Mr. Cyclops. I know exactly where you are. <laughs> oh, he changed his mind. Where are you going? Eh! All right, whatever. I'll just tab him now. Uh, I guess this is the staircase we were using, but it's not a good one to continue using, huh? Let's try the last staircase. All right. This is an okay base of operations. Oh, let's be invisible, huh? Everyone come get me. Yeah, fine. Whatever. If we can drag up just the siren, I guess that's okay. Who was that who just arrived up here? Another impaler. Okay. So we'll uh, we'll rest, we'll go invisible and we'll go downstairs. Frost giant, huh? Let's drag these two upstairs. Uh, what is the MR on a frost giant anyway? It's pretty high, right? Yeah. Oh, that's right. It was forty percent to banish him. I remember because we uh, we fought that one in the ice cave, and and uh, spent a bunch of banishes on him. And in the meantime, we haven't increased our invocations at all. So uh, banishing him is an option, but maybe not great. Invisibility is getting good. I think when we get Evo up to like five, I'll just forget about training it anymore for a while. Just having it a little bit more reliably usable and lasting for a little bit longer will be nice. Uh, so what staircase do we use? Or maybe we just don't finish Shoals and uh, go back to Spider. Hang on, what is this? Is this another instance of this stupid bug? Yeah. We found three staircases that we uh, actually went to, and then I've also been here? This I stood in this square. Like, this map is just obviously impossible, right? There's no place a player could stand to have revealed this section of the map. Uh, if you stood anywhere out here, you'd, you'd reveal like this square, uh, or up here, maybe. Wait, this is actually even weirder than I thought, because don't you need to have revealed two different squares to get this map? Like, um, this indicates that we, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, we stood right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, exactly. But that doesn't let us see in here. We must have also stood right here. What the, what, what's the deal? Or maybe here? I'm not sure exactly where. Here looks about, no? I'm not sure where you can stand that doesn't, that gives you line of sight of this square, but not these two. Uh... Here? But I feel like you would be able to see this square. Well, this square? No, maybe not. Okay. Yeah, maybe we stood here. But then how did we see all this stuff? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stood here. Hmm. That's not how I would have guessed line of sight from here would work, but okay. I guess it does. Anyway, just like, ugh, I wish this were fixed. Um, but in the meantime, we know one place where the rune isn't, <laughs> because we know that what's here is a staff of power. Uh, so we could go back to Spider. We've gathered a little bit more experience. I kind of feel like this is where the rune is, just because there's a lot of monsters there. I'm going to go back to this staircase. There, there wasn't too much nasty stuff guarding it. And it's been a while since we were there. Wow, I take back everything I said. This is horrible. We lost like a third of our HP just coming downstairs. At least there's no Aquamancers. Jeez, and there's this ghost as well. Oh my word. So we could come down and like if we were invisible, this would be a little bit more manageable, but it'd still be real bad. Wait, did I not exclude this staircase? I'm doing it now. 
<laughs> Yikes. Uh, so all of these stairs are bad-ish. This one might be okay. I'm going to go invisible before I go down this time. I learned my lesson. Ow! Man. Javelinier hit hard. Uh, let's blink. Now the Javelinier doesn't really know how to find us. Well, I take it back. I guess he does. Yeah, he knows exactly where I am for some reason. Ah, uh, now he's lost. No, he found me again. Uh, let us, therefore, teleport before this gets out of... Oops. Zapping teleport, because I would like to save up my wand, my scrolls for that trove. Okay. So we lured the Frost Giant up to Shoals 3, which is good and bad. Uh... Wow, it's Australia, right? Look at this. It's like a, it's a perfect, uh, perfect map of Australia, more or less. You know, for some values, it's perfect. Uh, that's kind of a funny little thing. So anyway, that means that this staircase, this one here, is pretty safe right now. Uh, there's still a frost giant to contend with on Shoals Three. Oops, no, don't banish anything. Go invisible is what I meant to say. Okay, and there's this Aquamancer who's an issue because he can knock us off the stairs is the main reason that he's an issue, I guess. Ugh. Now there's two Aquamancers. I gotta get to the, to the stairs. Yes. Man, this place is horrible. Ugh. Uh, let's let's annotate this as like just bad. Um, try to get safe. You know, rest up without getting surprised by a frost giant, and get out of this horrible place. Go back to Lair, and then I think we'll head to, like, Spider next. We may have overreacted by running away from Spider, and we're a bit stronger now as well. But uh, that can wait till the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.